welcome back guys to this uh, 11 Django tutorial video and in this video we are going to be doing mostly web development stuff so not a lot of Django stuff so if you're familiar with bootstrap 4 and HTML and CSS you can just skip this video but before you skip this video I'm just gonna tell you what I'm going to be building in this video so in this video we are going to be building this portfolio page and these are basically the cards of bootstrap 4 and then we are going to be building this home page in which uh, we'll have this form which will contain the first name and the last name and when we click on this button which says tell me a Chuck Norris joke this text with the name is going to be dynamically generated in this card so we are going to be building this in this video and this this part of this joke is going to be dynamically generated so we won't be doing the dynamically generated part in this video maybe we'll be doing that in the next video or maybe in the next to next video but we'll be doing that in the next couple of videos but in this video we are just going to be making it static and it won't change so this is pretty basic bootstrap for stuff we are going to be building the portfolio page and the home page and if you already know how to do this you can skip this video it's totally fine but if you want to follow along and uh, you know just you just want to copy and paste the code you can go to this link which is basically let me tell you this is my github page we can go over here then click on repositories and click on this 2.1 personal website and then this you can just directly go to this link if you want and then you can go to my site in my site the structure is pretty much the same you can just go to portfolio.html and I haven't added stuff over here but in, by the end of this video I'll make sure that this stuff is added so that you can just copy and paste stuff if you want so anyways if you are following along just for a refresher or something feel free to do it so anyways let's get started so first let's see what is the current position of our website so if you open it up you can see in the home page it's empty the portfolio page is empty so what we are going to do is we are going to copy and paste some of the cards over here in the portfolio.html so we are going to be using bootstrap 4 let's open the bootstrap 4 website and in the documentation we'll go to this uh, components and the components will find this card and then inside this card we can go to card decks which is what we want and we can just scroll down and copy this whole thing so we can just copy it from here go to our PyCharm and we'll first make a container so that actually let's not make a container first and see how it looks so we can just copy and paste this and if we go back and refresh our portfolio you can see this card actually spans from left hand side to right hand side but we only want it to span from this area where the photo starts to the end of these links and that is why we have to contain these three cards inside a container class so what we are going to do is we are going to go above and over here we are just going to create a new division and we are going to call it container and let's close this tag obviously you must have a little bit about idea about bootstrap 4 i'm just kind of refreshing for it for you a little bit uh yeah for, it's, it's better if you learn bootstrap 4 and then come back to this video because i'm just kind of glossing over all of this stuff I'm not really going deep into anything so I'm just gonna format this properly and now if we go back and press enter as you can see it looks a little bit better obviously we haven't added any images yet so it's showing uh, not found error over here but what I want next from it is that I want a little bit of space at the top so I'm going to go to this container and I'm going to add some inline styling over here so I'm gonna write style margin top and give it maybe around 100 pixels so now we can refresh it and as you can see it is a little bit at the bottom and looks a little bit neater now I'm gonna add all of my stuff over here I'm gonna add all the images all the titles and stuff I'm not gonna waste your time by doing it like while recording this video I'm just gonna cut this video to the point where all of this stuff is added and boom I've added all of this stuff on the website so now our portfolio page is complete if you want to have a look at the portfolio.html what I've done is I've loaded the static over here so that I can add the images we have already discussed this so I'm not gonna go into it again but I've just added images give it some titles and some text and stuff like that obviously these are the not collections of the my whole portfolio is not over here I just created it to like give you guys an idea 
of how it's supposed to look and this is looking actually surprisingly really really good even for a minimalistic website minimalistic personal website this is starting to look really really good now we're gonna go to this home page and actually work on this home page so the first thing I need is a couple of forms so I'm gonna go to again bootstrap 4 and let's scroll down and go to forms and then we are gonna go to this uh, I want an inline form so I'm gonna go to this inline form. So what is an inline form? Inline form is a form where all of these things are in a single line. So I just want this inline form and I'm gonna copy this from here. And I'm gonna go not over here. I'm gonna go to this side and go to index.html and we are gonna do the same thing with this one. We are gonna create a division tag and call it a container. Give it a container, close it and paste this over here and let's see how it looks so let's go back go to Arthur's website and press enter all right so this looks a little bit decent but obviously we don't want this username remember and stuff like that so what we're gonna do is we are gonna maybe edit this a little bit so we are gonna create a first a division tag and give it a class of row so if you have no idea about bootstrap 4 I'll highly recommend you go back and learn about bootstrap 4 but basically the idea is that every every kind of a division tag is must contain a row and inside that row there should be a lot of columns so basically if we want this on one line and if we want another item on the second line we have to create two rows but if we want two things on the same line on one row for what we can do is so every every bootstrap for uh, web website contains 12 columns so we are going to give this six columns and then we are going to give our another card which will show the joke the next six columns so what we can do is if we go to PyCharm again we can create another class and we can give it sm6 so basically we are giving it uh, six columns and then we can cut this from here cut this form paste this over here and instead of uh, this label let's actually first remove this username this remember me this is not important we can just uh, kind of copy and paste this again let's remove this thing all right and uh, instead of name let's just write first name capital E capital A and then in this one let's just write last name and let's do the same thing with the placeholder so the placeholder kind of gives you the hint of what you are supposed to type. I'll just tell you that in a little bit of a minute. Let's paste this over here and press enter and see how it looks. So this is the placeholder which you are seeing over here, first name and the last name. And now you can just type anything over here. But anyways, uh, what I want is that there should be some kind of gap from the top to the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go over here and give it a styling. And we are going to do the basically the same thing that we did in the portfolio. We are going to give it a margin of 100 pixels. And this looks pretty good. And we are going to change the submit button. So instead of primary, we are going to call it secondary, which basically changes the color. And instead of submit, we are going to write tell me a Chuck Norris joke. All right, let's see how it looks. Press enter. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Now on the right hand side we want another card so we are going to go back to our bootstrap 4 and we are going to go back to our cards and over here we are going to use uh, maybe this one this card that is over here let's go down let's copy this thing so as you can see bootstrap makes it so easy that I'm literally just copying and pasting stuff <laughs> And I don't feel guilty about it. It's like some people are like, why are you copying and pasting stuff? It's just like Bootstrap 4 is meant to be in that way. And this is like a Django tutorial. So I don't want to waste my time doing web development stuff. And I, I like I'm, I'm like telling you guys, giving you guys a little bit of an idea of what's happening behind the scenes of web development. But I'll highly recommend if you already know what is happening, just skip this video. But if you don't know what is happening, feel free to watch this video. And we are almost done. So there's no point in not completing the video. But anyways, let's see how our uh, thing looks. So let's go over here, press enter. All right, so this is coming over here, but we want it to appear on the right hand side. So we have not given it a 
we have not given it a column yet so what we are going to do is we are just going to cut this from over here and we are going to paste this inside this row so this row is ending over here so we are going to paste this over here but first we need to create another class and give it another columns of six and that's pretty much it so as you can see there are now 12 columns six columns of this and six columns of this uh, so this is being occupied by the first six columns and this this card will occupy the next six columns so i'm just gonna paste this uh, over here format this properly press enter and this should go on the right hand side now i want the width of this card to be a little bit more so we are going to change this the width to maybe something like 40 and instead of i'm going to remove the card subtitle we don't we don't want it and over here we can just write chuck norris and um, we can just remove this one lick and we can just paste over here check out my portfolio after we have told them an awesome joke we are going to ask them to check our portfolio we are very very sneaky so all right let's go and see how it looks press enter chuck norris and let's actually add a chuck norris joke so what we are going to do is we are going to go to google and over here we are just going to type uh, joke api so if you don't know what a joke what an api is api is basically oh my god there's no internet what is happening all right there's internet now so what a, what an api is api basically helps you send requests and then when you send a request you kind of get something back and you can what you get back you can use uh, to put on your website on an application anywhere you want so we'll be using this uh, this api basically so let's actually just go down uh, all right for this video i'm just gonna just use this one i'm just gonna copy this let's copy this properly and paste this on our web browser so that you guys know, you guys have a, a little bit of an idea and this is actually a little bit wrong so let me remove this and press enter and instead of john do you can type in whatever you want and this is basically a json format and we'll be dealing with this kind of an api in maybe the next to next video or something like that but right now i just wanted to give you an idea of what is happening and we're just gonna copy this one and actually let me just change the name oh, damn it let me just change the name to my name let's call it arthrea and let's call it but i know i have a pretty weird name you don't need to judge me so the joke is newton's third law is wrong although it states that for each action there is an equal and opposite reaction there's no force equal in reaction to a Arthre Bhatt roundhouse kick. That's true. That's true. I'm not going to lie. My, my kicks are pretty good. So I'm just going to copy and paste this joke for right now. I'm not going to like uh, create it dynamically. So I'm just going to paste it over here. Go over here. And press enter. All right. So this looks pretty, pretty good. And guys, this is pretty much it for this video. We created this portfolio page and we created this home page and when you click on this check out my portfolio actually let me change this url at the bottom and give it a url to go to we are going to write a url and we have already given the name we can just write portfolio and refresh it over here and we can also click just check out my portfolio and he'll be taken over here the whole idea here is when he comes to our home page he writes his name over here and clicks on tell, tell me a uh, chuck norris joke and when he sees his name in this uh, random joke, he'll be like, oh shit, this, this guy is pretty cool. And he'll click on check out my portfolio. And you know, he can check out my portfolio, do all kind of cool stuff. Maybe follow me on Instagram. That is Bhat Atreya. And if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? And my internet is not working again. This is super embarrassing. But anyways, guys, this is pretty much it for this video. I'll see you in the next one where we will be doing a little bit of web development again. So yeah, peace out.